gentlemen, 2023 has been a very exciting year for administrative results. We filmed a bunch of videos. It's a year that I unmasked and ditched the balaclava, but he's still around. He's haunting me. What we want to do with this video is give you a compilation of all some of the funnest moments and the intros on administrative results. So enjoy. Today, we are going over the Robinson Arms M96, AKA the Stoner 63 is what you probably recognize it as. <laughs> Dan, thanks for letting me borrow your gun. Yet again, what would you like to tell my audience? It's upside down. That's, that's it? On guard! <laughs> what to talk about, eh? Kapow! <laughs> a toilet in Australia, which way does the water swirl? Same thing applies to a gun that has an upside down mag. What's really going on here? Today we are going over the PPSH-41, an iconic submachine gun from World War II. This thing is freaking cool. This bad boy does a little rip roaring like it's funny. <laughs> Every good gun needs a good nickname, and the Soviet soldier at the time called this bad boy the Papa Shaw, which translates to Daddy. Daddy Chill. And to be fair, if this is all I had between me and an onslaught of angry Germans, I'd probably call this thing Daddy too, so that, that checks out. What the hell is even- The cyclic rate, the accuracy, the drums, how the manual of arms op works and operates, I think all outclasses the Sten gun, bar none. And it's even more impressive when you realize that the Russians are making these things and, and they're communists. So it's like, how, how do you even eat food and make this? So it is, to me, mind boggling. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is a ballistic gel torso, a one-to-one -one replica of a real torso. And today, we're gonna use it in conjunction with a M134D minigun. Justin, you did so it, man. decimated. How's it feel to be the angel of death, dude? It's not right. a bad job. Yeah, 3,000 rounds a minute is not good to stand in front of. No, no it is not. All 
right, so off the get-go, it doesn't look like too much damage to the front. I want to see if we did any better to the rear. Okay, it looks like, looks like the rear of the dummy, all the exit wounds. I think that looks a lot better. I don't think I got Justin's skills, man. He eviscerated that first dummy like it was easy. How'd you make it look so easy, man? I'll just point and aim. The gun does the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going over this sick ass Mac 11. And boy, is this thing sick ass. I'm sorry, mom. Sorry, you're gonna have to bleep out the ass word. said die on nuggies already. Thanks for letting me borrow this Mac 11. What would you like to tell my audience? Keep watching videos, stay rad. That's about it. The cyclic rate on this bad boy is looking around 1,200 rounds per minute, so that's very fast. Yeah, I was in your guys' shop, I saw it, and I was like, okay, I haven't touched a Mac for a video yet. I want to touch a Mac. I said, wow, what a really nice Mac you have. I, I, you know what, you guys unsubscribe. Every time I do a Trump impersonation, you have to unsubscribe. I do love shooting SMGs in their fast firing setting. I find that when you try and shoot a sub gun in semi-automatic, it's so like boring now. It's still fun, but it's still boring because it's not what they're meant to be. It's kind of like tying or kissing your sister. Nobody wins. Today we are going over the gun of John Wick. Today we're going over the HK P30L. <laughs> I used to be a beat cop. I started a YouTube channel while I was at my department and I wore a ball clava so I wouldn't get in trouble. I was mainly afraid of my department and then things spiraled out of control and I am here where I am today. And the ball clava just stuck. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how the story arc plays out. I'm not that cool. I know I'm not. But damn it, do I feel cool. I feel like I am John Wick. I need a weapon. I, I need guns. Lots of guns. My John Wick impersonation is not as good as my Trump impersonation. Well, I was at a John Wick impersonation. I can't believe he tried to do John Wick. I, I'm so sorry. Unsubscribe. <laughs> dude on the internet wearing a ball club and making YouTube videos. So uh, take everything I say and do with a grain of salt. So that's my disclaimer to you. Today we're going over the American 180. Sometimes I wish I was a blue job up in the sky. I wouldn't have to walk if I could fly. But I'll be a brown job until I die. For 10 years to go in the dark. What would you like to tell the audience? Thank you for watching administrative results. This man is kick ass. Uh, obviously, as you've seen, it is a fully automatic open bolt. Excuse me, it is a very, very fast semi-automatic. <laughs> I have no experience. No gun. experience, not at all. Wow, Brandon Herrera, what a gun guy, what a gun guy.
Hey, admin. Mm -hmm. This video is really cool and all. Sun's going down. Can I put on pants? No. You must be a man amongst men. I just want jeans. That's my person. I don't know you. Today we're going to do the Truly test to see how truly awesome this gun is. That sounds truly scientific to me. Now you can see that I have three Trulys here and that are colored red because it's better to be dead than red. Studying genders in three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That's a handicap spot. Today we're going over the Ohio Ordnance H-Car, the heavy counter assault rifle. But the question is, is the H-Car king or is it cringe? Today we're going to find out. For the sake of my channel and for the sake of YouTube guidelines, none of the magazines you see in this video are 30 rounders. They are all under 30 rounds. They are 29 rounds or less, all right? You're probably saying, hey, admin, uh, your older brother, Grantham, literally just did a video on this not too long ago, which is just very true. I even consulted him on my video. <sighs> Definitely, we're in business. Other side of the hall. <sighs> so we have to answer the question, is this gun king or is it cringe? finished snow camo friend why don't you go and uh, reveal yourself do a little Should I? unmasking Should I? Oh. Oh. What? today we're going over the TAC 501 <laughs> Now, the thing about 50 cals is that they are rather loud. So to quiet them down a bit, it's always good to have a can to use in the event that you find yourself in the proximity of the 50 BMG round. Just another day at the office. <laughs> Best job I've ever had. I feel like I'm in a Jurassic Park movie right now. We're like testing a 50 BMG to go hunt dinosaurs and the main character just landed. So it's, it actually looks really cool. Did you get hit? Ooh. I did, that first shot hit me in the glasses. Got a little blood on you, dude. Smile for the camera. <laughs> The embarrassing thing is I've now like spent more money on 50 BMG ammo trying to shoot a Sapporo can than the Sapporo can will ever be worth. Bruh. I'm, so I'm sorry, guys. So we got the MG42 here, a classic German icon, and I can't wait to go over this bad Please, you German, ya Whoa, 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 whoa. Adam and clone number two, what are, you, what are you doing here, man? It's the first Thursday of the month. I'm on the schedule. Oh, well, hold on. 
No, I, I don't have you scheduled. What do you mean? It says admin clone number two, not scheduled. I don't know what to say, man. I'm sorry. I'm usually a lot better about this no, sort of thing. No. You know, Jocko, extreme ownership, I'll take uh, my bad, okay? But while you're here, you know, I got MG42. I don't have an assistant gunner. If you want, we could, you want to be my It's a sexy gun, you know? I'm already here. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> This for me. Well, here we are again. I can't resist the thought of seeing what an MG42 sounds like to be shot at. We'll have my admin clone shoot at me for this bit and we'll see what it sounds like. I'm actually really excited because I'm assuming it's gonna be terrifying. Holy shit. I could feel the vibration from the round in my legs. What the hell? Did you actually feel any hits on the berm though? It seemed like- Yeah, I could feel that on the berm. I could feel the vibration on the berm. Whoa. 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 Gentlemen, you play Call of Duty with the Dragunov. I'm in the woods with her. We are not the same. This is like the smorgasbord. It's a smorgasbord of essentially SVD rifles. Uh, do we go hard on the Red Tiger let's, first? Or let's do we start over it? here and let's go all the way up to the uh, cream of the crop. Uh, we'll let the, the cream rise to the top. The 500-600 meter roll. It's got a Mosin base platform and a smaller scope on it. Why, so, why no scope? What zoomers we are. There, well, were, they, there was a bit of a, a bit of a kerfuffle surrounding this rifle with another YouTube channel. Essentially, the controversy of this rifle is like you, you ever like um, you ever like walk up behind your mom as a kid and you like give her a hug and you turn her around and then you're like, that's not my mom. That's not at all what happened with this How rifle. How often did this happen to you as a kid? It's so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my friend. It is FPS for Russia. Huh? Uh, no. Huh. China. Very pretty rifle. Very impressive. Very nice. I said, well, what a nice rifle. Here we've got the Russian Tiger. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's hard to find a cooler rifle than the Dragunov. Blah. Today we're going over a little SMC chassis or the small modular chassis from Strike Industries. Do you long to hold a woman's hand? LARP. LARP. Do you like to run around the flat range? LARP. LARP. Did you buy a Mark 18 because Grantham said to, but now you're getting into recce? A LARP. LARP. Does your mom make your favorite chicken tendies after your flat range session? Flat range. Flat range. You are way off baseline. I can fix that. Go see the map. You look like a good job. Now you might be wondering, hey admin, I don't care about stuff like this. Well you should, because it gives me a chance to LARP a little Blade Runner vibe. <laughs> We're in a gray area with this whole pistol brace stuff. I mean, this gun's not even mine, is it? Who knows? Legality. But who gives a damn? It's all CGI anyway, right? It scratches that sci-fi itch. I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of letting myself in. I was careful not to drag in any dirt. 
Dirt I don't mind. Unannounced visitors, I do. Now, if you could just look up and to the left for me. Today we're going over the TS-12 from IWI. Hey, Savio, did you get that shot? What shot? Oh. So any chance I get to run around the flat range LARPing as Johnny Rico, I'm gonna take that chance. I'm gonna smoke some bugs, because only good only bugs good dead bug bugs. Is a dead bug. Anyway. Newcom! Listen up. After fleets foul up on Clindathu, they've come up with a new plan. We're gonna clean up the outlying systems one by one, starting with Tango Urilla. Some of you are going to die, but that's a risk the Federation is willing to take. Gear up, we're moving out. It's afraid! What's this guy doing? That's a Ford Raptor. Join the mobile infantry. Service guarantees citizenship. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. And I'm doing my part. <laughs> Today we're going over the BAR, the Browning Automatic Rifle. <laughs> Imagine you're some cop back in the day and you're having to deal with a criminal and you have a six shooter and some criminal pops out with a sawed off VAR. Nope. 20 rounds of 30-06. I used to be a cop. Trust me, if someone said, hey, you have to go fight someone with a BAR with your six shooter, I'd say, hey, how about I just fight you instead? That's not happening. Don't shoot, let him burn. This is also a private range, so we can do this. <laughs> Typically guns and alcohol don't mix. So this sets a new bar. <laughs> For YouTube's sake, this is not a 30 round mag. This is a custom modified 29 round for YouTube. Man, that's a lot of firepower going down range, and I do love that. I got him. Keep your head down, boys. He hit the floor before he heard the shot. The sniper's got talent. Uh, Mike, how many meters do you think that was? 800. 800? I can't range that with this thing. I got it. Got it. All right, Mike, open door left. Let's clear it. Go, 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 take it, take oh, it. Oh, God. I get what you're saying because I made many videos on the Mark 18. Yes. I pontificated a lot about the effectiveness of it, especially mm. with the suppressor. This is a very small package. Right. Which we're both very used to. Wait a second. <laughs> they grow up so fast. They grow up so fast. Yeah, they really do. I love that boy. Good for him. It's got that dog in him. I think they're better than magnifiers. I yeah. don't even need a magnifier. You, you need a magnifier for PID. 
I don't need one. I don't, I don't ID anything. <laughs> Shoot first, <laughs> ask questions later. What a chat. What a chat. Just exactly. speed it up. I know. <laughs> I'm not Three. Lucas. What? Oh. <laughs> And to be clear, we do have a grenade launcher on there as well. Yeah, I don't know why I wasn't using the grenade launcher to begin with in that opening skit. You should've just It's, a, it's only a 37 millimeter. It right? is 37 millimeter, I know. So I can call them like flares. Flare well. launcher. And flares. Well, it's only flare until you throw something in there that's not a flare. <laughs> <laughs> My lawyer said that was a joke. That was a joke. Thanks, lawyer. Out here in God's country in Idaho. <laughs> I mean, I want this bad boy right here. Yeah, right? of course. Right Where we are right here in 18 makes mm -hmm. sense. If I want to fight whatever government tyranny I need to, exactly. uh, then yeah, base. an 18 inch base. Gentlemen, this is the Beretta 92G Elite from Langdon Tactical. Today, we're going to go over. I like it, I love it, I want more of it. It speaks to my Italian heritage in a way that I didn't know that I would need. Could you do me a solid? Uh, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Micah. I need a little bit more. Oh, yeah, uh, I do uh, videography and editing for Grantham. Who's Grantham? <sighs> Cut! Now that was good acting, guys. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're Grantham. Wait a second. We are. <laughs> 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 How good does it feel to hold two guns like that? Really good. Yeah. Really good. Like Resident Evil. Yeah, you, feel, you, look, you look cool. You look way, like, you didn't look as cool with one, now you look way cooler. I love it when they're pointed at my manhood. When I'm still carrying a gun, and I know it's double action, for whatever reason, I feel... Decocking it is nice. Yeah, that's that feels good, man. Go to hell, Ron Jeremy! You're gonna offend a lot of people, and I kind of like that about you. <laughs> It's impressive. Today we're going over the Tavor Saw. Before we go any further, I am not a historian. I am a big chimp on the internet that's LARPing in a balaclava. So take everything I say and do with a grain of salt. It's always nice with an extra three inches. That's what she said. But I sound like I'm really out of breath for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> do it, do it. Gentlemen, this is the PKN, a world-renowned medium machine gun. God damn. Is crossing that boulder gap. Not on my watch. Americanski soldat, no more. It's a beautiful day, Al, so let's get shot at. Is letter rip. Okay, I cannot express, that is actually very terrifying. <laughs> For whatever reason, I've gotten a little bit hooked on getting shot at by belt-fed machine guns. Yeah, you're addicted to the adrenaline. I like the dump. Now, to be clear, when I was shooting the PKM, my brain and my cornea and my eyes couldn't really keep up with what I was doing. How did it look from your end? Gray dust everywhere. Your muscles just vibrating with the gun. Wow. Sexual, I would say. Sexual intense. Join this is the Silencer Co. Maxim 9. Bongiorno. <laughs> Sam, um, where have you been? You haven't been on the channel in a bit. Sleeping. You've been sleeping that long? I anyway, what would you like to tell my audience? This gun's like a, like my love life. It's over very quickly, and then you debate about whether or not it was really satisfying afterwards. That was a little deep, man. It's not satisfying.
Now, the gun shoots extremely fast, so the cyclic rate's around 1,500 rounds per minute, and or my trigger finger is just that fast. <laughs> I got rocked my clavicle by some brass. Thank you. If you were wondering why I posted this picture, it's obvious I'll throw it on the screen, of me talking about a new chapter beginning, I do plan to do an unmasking video. It is a long time coming and I am excited to publicly announce it on a YouTube video, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see that happen. Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, The Talking Balaclava, for now. Today we are going over the Midwest Industries furniture on a Palmetto State Armory AK. <laughs> Aesthetic. Yes, I said it. I know it's almost like I love guns and the way they look. Hey, admin, I thought you were a type of guy to say, hey, hit the gym, work out. Who cares about the weight of your gun? Yes, I will always say that and talk trash like that, but I do acknowledge the fact that if you have not been eating or drinking water for multiple days while also trying not to die in a situation playing the game of life, then maybe a gun will start to get really heavy that you are using. <laughs> Oh, that's really sharp. Oh, we criticized many. What? What's the matter with me? What's going on here? The allergies. Allergies. Now the base gun. Now the bait. Redrop. Re For starters. For starters. <laughs> All right, I'll bite. What's up with the ball, Kalaba? Who's this guy? Administrative results. Administrative results. What the hell is an administrative results? He's a YouTuber. A YouTuber. Why the ball club? Doesn't matter, and I don't pay you to ask questions. Yeah, barely pay me at all. I'll make it happen. That's him, all right. Are you okay? Oh. What's going on? Samuel, run! Oh run, God. save yourself! Oh, 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 oh. I want you to know I'm sorry I had to be this way. I actually do like the channel. I knew this day would come. Why do you wear the balaclava? Nobody cared who I was before the mask. If I took that off, would you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. For you. What have I done?
Oh, what the heck? Mr. Ranch, this is quite the uh, collection that you have here, sir. I want to do a video because when I walked in, I said, wow, this is actually a very solid collection. But you have some pieces in here that I personally like the most. So yeah. I figured we picked the five guns that I like the most. You tell me a little bit about the origin of how you got them. Okay. Let's go shoot them. How's that sound? That sounds amazing. Okay. Yeah, of course, I have to go with the trench shotgun. Yes. Oh. You forgot to slam fire. Woo. I did. I messed that one up. <laughs> it sounds fun, but it's not as easy as she looks. I'm a sucker for the Colt Python, especially a Colt Python that looks like this. Coral! <laughs> come on, come on. I, got, I should have one more round. Now, this is the pressure. This is where you die. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, you're, I'm, you're I'm, for super, sure dead. I'm super dead. All right. Oh. You have a lot of cool clashes going on, but yep. I am a sucker for just a classic look in AK-74M. That's a Brandon Herrera build right there. Great context. Brandon Herrera, wow, what a guy. I said, I met Brandon Herrera. I said, wow. Oh, nine rounds. I wasn't okay. counting. Oh, a mare's leg. A little mare's leg, dude. I'm okay. a, I, 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 I want to have some fun with the mare's leg. That's yeah. smooth. That's smooth. Who do we have with us? Are you talking about that fat guy? Yeah, that fat guy. The one that does electricity stuff. So this is the fat electrician. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, last come round, on. Last go, round. go, 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 go. They're coming. Ah. No, you, uh, you're, you're done. Dead. Dead. <laughs> D E D. Dead. 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 <laughs> Kid's not doing too bad. Seems to be pulling it off. But he'll learn. I learned that though the people love a hero, what the people love more is watching a hero fail. Today we're going over a Crew Arms Temp 556. It's the Canadian ACR we have at home. that athleticism boyo. Ounces equals pounds, pounds equals pain. So carrying this mug for a long duration of time, if you have not been hitting the gym, then you are going to suffer, but that's why we work out. I'm your host, a man deranged, holding a Thompson out in the woods, hunting for skinwalkers. Today, we have the 1928 A1 Thompson, as well as the Thompson M1. Now, of course, I want to introduce you to arguably the best part about this video, our Japanese reenactors. This is actually probably one of the coolest things I've done at the channel is get actual real reenactors to come out. These guys and their attention to detail blew my mind. I am a big champ when it comes to reenacting stuff. I try and get it into the ballpark. Uh, because mainly I'm a gun channel and I, I care more about the firearms, but now they've kind of sparked the interest of reenacting. In this setting, I have the YouTube certified 20 round mag. All mags in this video are going to be under 29 rounds. Thanks, YouTube. Huh. 
I'll be darned. Guy looks just like Lecky. Ah, gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Nigel Thigabottom, and today we're going over the Stin submachine gun. Old boy, he's got us more dialed in than a woodpecker on an oak tree. Right, man. Where'd you get that stin gun? Are you from the future or something? Right, yes, my good man. I actually am from the future. I'm on a special mission from future Winston Churchill to help you out with this machine gewehr 42 position. Except in 70 years, you will get arrested for saying mean things on Facebook and you can't own any pocket knives. It is how one would say in the future, most definitely, not busting. Right, right. What's Facebook and what does busting mean? I struggle bust loading the mag to capacity, which of course is less than 29 rounds. Thank you, YouTube. The problem with Arizona in the summer is that, like, everything hurts. Everything you touch, like any metal you touch is hot. All the earth is unforgiving and it's hot, sharp rocks. I know on some stins, you may not be a stint expert, you may see tube and say that is tube is tube. Today we are going over the show shop. This show shaw is very cool. It's very sexy, it's very elegant, but it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to a man who doesn't actually forget any weapons despite his name. Mr. Ian McCollum, please get on over here, sir. Sexy and elegant, seriously, that thing? Anytime I think of modern warfare, I always think of like humans getting together, like I will settle down and start farming, and then like a thousand years later, man-made horrors beyond our comprehension. If I was an American and I knew the BAR existed in World War I and I got off the boat, I am about to wreck so many tons with this thing and then they're like, no you're not, here's a show shot. I would be pretty salty if I'm being honest. Gentlemen, the YouTuber Grantham has a quite impressive tactical collection. I will not take you in his safe, but I will shoot his guns and I will shoot them thoroughly. A new trend on the channel where I go to all my friends collections and I grab my top five favorite firearms that they happen to own. I have the man himself with the collection that he, well it's his collection. Grantham. Say hi Grantham. Hi Grantham. God! Right. As a treat the audience may have some Brandon Herrera as a snack. That's hi Brandon. Like. As a treat or as a punishment? As a treat. Mike ready? All right first off we have the Mark 13 Mod 5. That's correct. I think you got him. 173. My bad. New high score, is that bad? No head. All right, next, of course, we have a Jim Fuller built Zenicode out AK 105. You understand the course fire? I think so. You loaded? I am now. Shooter, are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Oh, come on, that was bad, <laughs> dude. <fucked>. Oh, <laughs> damn it, dude. 173. Spoiler alert, Grantham is getting a museum quality replica being built right now. He has a Shugar M14. Okay, last target, nice and skinny. Let's go check out those results. The administrative results. What are the time? 799. 799, oh! Then you have arguably my favorite configuration of a 1911 with the old retro Surefire light. I don't know why, uh, I know. Ah! 
neck. Good. One Charlie, and you were 971. One Charlie, 971. What penalty for Charlie? Just a nice hug for the homie. I acquired a 6.5 Carcano. Uh, they're very cheap. They're like 400 some dollars. And I had this idea. I was like, what if I made my own version of a Medic Scout rifle from Battlefield 5? It's a pretty wieldy package for the era. That's what she said? Ah. I always have trouble on that last round. What if I get canceled for, like of all the stuff I've done, this is the one I get canceled for. Here we have our JFK target. All right, now we're gonna go about 80 yards-ish away. I am going to change the events of world history with the Carcano. Three, two, one. I think the real miracle was my Carcano in blocks actually working flawlessly this time. Did you hear a, a gunshot after I shot? Like each round, like it sounded like six total shots. Did you hear that? Yeah. Wait, who's that guy? Oh. All right, boys, so it looks like my application to CIA is not going to get accepted. Today, we're going over the HNR 723 from Palmetto State Armory. So let's dive on in. Can't shoot in this goddamn thing. So, like I said before, I feel like this honestly gives me more 650. Who the hell are you? My name's Nick. My name is Jeff. All right, give him a mic. You know what, man? PSA is a lot like a loyal six. You may not be proud to brag to your friends about it, but she still knows how to throw it back at 2 a.m. He's honestly, he's been spitting facts this entire range trip. It's a little uncanny. I'm Malcolm Reynolds, captain of Serene. She's a transport ship, Firefly class. Why in the go ram hell are we on this godforsaken hot planet? Well, Jane, I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's these people called the Alliance, and I don't like paying taxes. Well, hi there, Bajo. How you been? Not too bad. How about yourself? I've been better. You gonna pay me or what? That's untraceable by the Alliance. Where's the rest of it? Um, got what you asked for. Old world hooch. Stuff dates back to 2023. That looks like what we need. See, Mal, I got a rule. I don't like paying for stuff if I don't have to. Bajo, you son of a bitch. I was worried you're gonna take this deal that way. <laughs> now, I learned a thing or two since our last dealings and uh, learned you're kind of a shady character. Yeah, I don't like that too much. I think I'll do the verse a favor and just rid you in your, well, malpractice. Well, uh, well, well, go to hell.
We gotta look all Western. So this is a uh, AK-74 built out by Jim Fuller. Now, if you're unfamiliar with who Jim Fuller is, do you know who Jim Fuller is? Travis Haley's dad. Possibly. It's time to do some shooting. And scooting. Wait, no, what is he doing here? Dude, huh? I had to babysit him. You had to babysit him? I had to babysit him. No, he's already mic'd up. How did he get a mic? My mom said I could play as long as I'm home before the streetlights. Uh, come on, we know how this went last time in the 723 video. He follows me, man. What, what do you want? You got any games on your phone? I do actually, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I have a fragile sense of masculinity. It's why I love guns so much. Yeah, I think the most terrifying thing about modern warfare is you don't get to die in peace anymore. Now you get to get uh, your death watched by a bunch of nerds on the internet. That's a weird little factoid. Can artificial intelligence replace gun tubers? That is the question we are answering today on Administrative Results. If you live under a rock and are unfamiliar with AI, artificial intelligence has become rather prominent within the last year or so, especially with the advent of ChatGPT. If AI is left unchecked, it poses a quote, risk of extinction. A lot of the art side of it is getting rather advanced. So we did a little bit more of a simpler video and we just did some prompts to see if AI could give us a good gun tube episode. So we have a simple prompt and then we have a more advanced prompt. So I guess I'm actually kind of excited because I don't know the results of this one. So I say we dive on in to find out the results. The administrative results. Video opens with high energy cinematic sequence. The car 15 is shown in slow motion set against a backdrop of explosions. And I don't have the budget for explosions. What the hell? Narrator, wearing tactical gear. <sighs> Buckle up because this retro beast is about to blow your mind. Blow your mind. I hate it. I hate, I don't. This isn't, this isn't how I talk. I didn't say that. I didn't do that. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of this. Pew, 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 pew. So did you guys know that car stands for cool as heck and reliable? <laughs> Okay, that one's actually, I actually like that line. Retro guns like this one have a certain charm, you know? I mean, I do kind of talk like that, I'll give them that. They've got history, character, and just feel right. It's like driving a classic car, but with bullets. Plus, they're perfect for those pop culture references, you know? Like quoting your favorite action heroes before taking that shot. yippee ki yay motherfucker! Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, the talking man deranged in the desert who's slightly schizophrenic. Now, why should you listen to a man deranged on the internet talking about firearms? Well, to be honest, you shouldn't. Guns out of the way, right? Interesting stuff out of the way. If you're still watching and not playing Subway Surfer on your phone, I commend thee. Now, what is a big thing about carrying a gun every day? Well, a lot of it has to do with your mindset. Oh, maybe somebody can! Is that our cameraman? so bad stop don't don't 
get a lawyer. If you have to use a weapon in self-defense, it's gonna cost a lot of money, but at least you won't be dead, right? That's general consensus. If I would say anything, when the cops do show up, plead the fifth, get your lawyer. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do. Chances are you're probably gonna to go to jail anyway because a homicide did occur. There's like no reason to keep shooting like that from that far away. I'm having fun. Sometimes I just wanna have fun. The YouTuber known as Scott, AKA Kentucky Ballistics, has amassed quite a collection of firearms over his years as a gun tuber. When I walked into his safe, I noticed a very particular trend about all these guns. They all have massive bores and a lot of power. So today, we're going to do the top five coolest guns, well, in my opinion, that Scott of Kentucky Ballistics owns. Scott, get over here. <laughs> How's it going? How you doing, sir? I'm doing better than you're about to be doing, probably. Is it have something to do with that? Yeah, this this little guy right here. If he's gonna be the first gun tuber other than me to shoot the four bore, I, I really want you to really feel the power. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That'll take you for a ride, man. <laughs> <laughs> it actually just appeared. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What is that? It is Dimash Banzai! Oh no, it is a samurai. It's okay though, I have a Gatlin gun. Oh, thank goodness, Scott. <laughs> Impressive tosser. When you film at Kentucky Ballistics, you do it Scott's way. We have mayonnaise, pancake syrup, mustard, and Hershey's chocolate. And this here is a uh, handy dandy 28 round mag, but they do make, you know, bigger ones and you can really get those barrels hot. Right. We had to get a custom made for YouTube policy. 28 Thanks, and a half. You know, Samurais are a real threat, but you know what really bothers me? What? Furbies. Furbies? You must join me in the great crusade against Furbies! Welcome back to Mr. Admin. And the first subscriber that finds this Khalil out in the desert gets to keep it. I found your Galga Go mag. Gah! Thank you. What is he doing here? We have Nick here. Hey, Nick, how you doing? Pretty good, how are you? So we're going over my Khalil. Whenever I think about Galil's or when I want to talk about Galil's, my brain doesn't comprehend the Galil. Does this happen to anyone else? Like Leave me alone, it's hot. Dude, it's like 118 now. It's like, dude, it's like 120 degrees out. Ugh, my eyes. Grantham here. Administrative results here. Today we're going over, so, so Mike had this idea. He said, what if we do the turntables? The tables have turned. Yeah, turntables. What if I pick my favorite guns that are yours? Yeah. And there actually were none, so that's the end of the video. I hate all of his guns. It's all Blood Diamond and FALs. It's pretty boring. It's within character. I try Oh, and why is it so hot? 114 in Phoenix. Look at my existence. First up, we have the- uh, No, Smith first up, we have the- uh, Smith and Wesson. M76. Yeah. You're actually gonna fire, we're gonna do Titus grouping. Um, yeah. However, you're gonna do it from the hip. Oh, okay. You can't aim. All right, yeah, let's do it. So you gotta dance it on. All right. Up. Man, once you find it. Yeah, once you find it, you got it. Right, shoot right. I'm gonna go, yeah. Beep. God, you know what? All right, let's go, come on. 
cool. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I am the main character. He is the main character, even main on my character. channel. God damn it! Thumbnail random. On this episode, go random. I brand. give myself go random. Oh my god, no, he didn't. Oh he what? Did oh my god. Chook. Yeah, yeah. Let's see here. People pay good money to watch this. Whew. Whoa. There, there we go. go. All right. Yeah, what was he like right here? Yeah. All right. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna do my best delivery. You, you have to do the other line. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, up him, up him. Ooh, that's pretty close. Smoked him. See you. Smoked him. All right, hold all right, on. All right, right, right here, right here, right yeah. here. Ready? Yeah. Oh, up him. Oh, you gotta do it twice, don't you? No, he just says, he just goes, Oh, oh yeah, right, up him. Right, right. oh, we'll take it from the top. It was good, top. right? Right? Yeah, okay, that was, that was pretty solid. Hold on, let me get in character. Yeah. Up him. Oh! Gentlemen, the age-old question of who is the better shooter? The tactical nerd crowd or the high-speed grand wizard USPPSSSA? I, you get what I'm trying to say. Today we're going to answer that question. We're going to find out truly who is the better shooter. Kind of. I, I already have an idea who the better shooter is. You stupid mother! Sit down! Sir, get down! Sir, get down! Hey! Hey! But to do this, I have an actual grandmaster with me, Hunter. Get over here. Hunter, thanks for coming on the channel. It's Hunter Constantinople, right? Correct. Perfect. I will never yes. forget Constantinople. On the clock, I'll give you the same commands that you'll find in a USPSA match, which is shooter ready. Right. Stand by. Yep. On the timer, you'll let it rip. Okay. Shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Here we go. Two, nine, four. Two, nine, four. Starting off raw, dude. I brought my A game. I want to see a pro do it now. Stand by. <laughs> Dang, dude. Yeah. I just licked Admin's gun. I know you guys in the comments are pretty jealous, but if you're a Grandmaster, you can lick whosoever gun you want. Jedi Master, Hunter, are you ready? Nine eighteen, dude. Put me to shame with my own setup. Nine eighteen, yeah. Trigger's a little different, a little bit smaller. Yeah. Everything's just a little different, but you make it happen because it's always the Indian, not the arrow. Today we're going over the XL Teen flamethrower from the company Throw Flame. <laughs> Why did I become a Zippo man? Well, my grandpa was a Zippo man in World War II. He was a Marine in the Pacific. I'm gonna follow in his footsteps. Don't shoot! Let him burn! The cool thing is, is that as civilians, you don't have to worry about the laws of war. You can outright own one. Hey Gene, how do you like your nip your knees cooked? I think first platoon's cooking them rare. Oh, just getting extra crispy. Oh, there's a bunker bed, I can feel it. cool thing about flamethrowers is they are able to ship right to your door. So you yourself can have a flamethrower and violate the Geneva Convention. How sick is that, man? It's freaking sick, dude. I just want you to stop saying such weird shit, man. <sighs> well, Mike, given how long it's taken to reconcile with myself of who I am, I don't think I'm going to change that on your account. I'm your partner, man. You got to change something. Listen, man, I like English archery. I like the history. I like longbows, okay? I find that stuff fascinating, and maybe I want to talk about it every once in a while. Dude, don't bring up longbows while I'm next to you in the car. It's a longbow. Yeah, all right. Then we got some action. Yeah, let's jump him. Shit. 
Nah, he's shit. He's running. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Got it. Oh. Is it the elevator? No way he took the elevator. All right, let's go to the stairs. Corner, corner, corner. Stairwell. Oh, he's running. Open door right, taking it. Holding. Coming out to you. No, no. I got him, I got him. Stop! You have nowhere else to go! Drop the gun! Let's talk about this. Consider your options. We have you. Brothers, I warn you. There is a storm coming. What are you talking about? I'm just one small part of it. Time cleanses all. And all things time cleanses. Come to me! I'll see you no, on the other no, side. No, don't jump! Don't jump, no! No, 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 no! Oh, God. I ain't cleaning that up. Shit. You gotta Damn explain it. this. You gotta explain this to the Lieutenant. I've seen this before. Yeah, it's jumping. Today we are going over the Meta Tactical Apex Kit for a Glock or a handgun chassis. It's one of the more interesting chassis I've seen. But to go over it, I have a friend to help me. Mike of Tactical Considerations. Mike. Bro, how you doing? Good, man. How are you? Doing good. Uh, today we're going over this thing. I know you had one. I have one, so I thought we could combine our powers. Yet again, you are the smarter gun tuber than I am. <laughs> I am a professional idiot. So I've always gone by the methodology of I might start with a pistol, but I'm probably going to be trying to fight to my rifle. Right. Right. Unless this is all you have and you want to have this, I mean, you can go both ways, huh? I guess. Uh, not here on this channel, buddy. <laughs> right. And for those of you in the audience that glow, otherwise known as feds. Hey, how you doing? How's the, uh... <laughs> How's the Fed Watch going, gentlemen? Are you enjoying this episode? Hope you are. It can be done. You just got to be like executive level skill, right? Yeah. Executive. Executive. Or managerial. Managerial outcomes. Outcomes. Now for this next test, Mike is going to see if this bullet safe armor can stop the, the, the chassis. The chassis 9 mil round. Today we're actually going over a very beautiful and elegant weapon system, the STG-57. Mike, how do I say like and subscribe in Swiss? Like or abonniere. Now this beautiful SCG-57 is not mine. It belongs to my new Swiss friend, Brody. Brody, get over here. Hi. If you can dodge a rifle grenade, you can dodge a ball. Put on fire. Winter trick is the last thing you do. Yeah. And really get it far up, hold on to it. Then the top of the night side, top of the grenade. Don't hold on to the pistol grip. <laughs> there we go. Exactly, um, keep on to the barrel shroud, not to the handguard. Yeah, hold really tight with your left hand, and when you're ready to fire, do that. Jeez!
And today we're going over the Jackal. And no, not the snipers from Halo that would just absolutely canoe you on Legendary. We're going over the Jackal from Palmetto State Armory. Contact front! Get down, get down, get down. What are you doing with that light? You're gonna get us killed. Are you my relief from headquarters? Where's your night vision? Where's your thermals? Do you have any? Oh, shit. Hey, what's that over there? Did you guys know that the officer's duty pistol is a taxpayer-funded item, which technically means it is public property. You can borrow it as you see fit. What was it? Take this, Master Chief. Headshot. Oh, you just wanted to finish him off, didn't you? He was moving so. Yeah. Quit resisting. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Sir, get down. Sir, get down. Sir, get down. You know, I am your host, the Talking Ball of Clava. Today we are going over the guns and gear of the most infamous Christian Craighead. take my ball club off. I'm not that guy, pal. I'm not that guy. You know what's funny about the ball club is it actually feels really good when you're in the sun and it gets like sweaty. The most infamous part, the most infamous part that I even would steal is the Arcturix Leaf Balaclava. The best balaclava to ever exist. Good luck getting them. They're annoying to get now. Not impossible, but they are annoying to get because Arcturix was like, Why are we selling so many balaclavas to civilians? This is not a good luck. <laughs> So you're saying that my grandpa could have encountered your grandpa somewhere in the South Pacific? I'm Vietnamese. Oh, shit. Get out of here. I have a friend with me. He's an excellent person. Micah, get over here. Yeah, I didn't know if I was supposed to come in. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh, oh. I just dropped your glasses. Are these expensive? We were. So we're doing something that's become a staple of the channel. We're going over your guns, but they're going to be my favorite of the top five. All right. I mean, I already knew this. We picked it out in my garage together, but this is the uh, Zenith 
Uh, I don't know if you call it MP5, but MP5? Well, yeah, it's a good thing it's hard that you don't do D or Y. Yeah, but, but it is a little more to try and get my hand all the way to reach around. Yeah, okay, yeah, I think yeah, you're yeah, being a little worse dramatic. That, it works out. I think he's being a little dramatic. Let me see this. Ready? <laughs> you don't have to do that. You, you, just, you just go like this. Maybe our hands are different. Hey, where are the targets at? Oh, I thought you knew. Knew what? We shoot trash out here. We don't shoot targets. You tell me you only shoot trash? You don't actually shoot targets? I guarantee you we can find some trash. I think I see some trash! Woo! I'm out. Toss me another clip. Ah. That felt a bit much. <laughs> that felt like, that that felt like a lot. lot. That, I don't think I've ever said something like that. <laughs> it felt a tad bit goofy. You come all right, probably one of the most ridiculous guns I've ever seen in the history of guns is Mr. Mayfield's customized maxed out attachment first Mosin. Prestige 10. Prestige 10. Now, what is it you want to know about this particular firearm? I want to know whether or not you were so preoccupied <laughs> with if you could. You didn't stop to think if you should. It's so silly willy. It's so goofy woofy. I feel like we're uh, in the scene in Saving Private Rhyme. We're in the bell tower right now. The Parker gun! Let to be the Lord my strength. He teaches my hands to the Lord and guides my finger to them. My shield and my, my tower. He in whom I trust. Parker, get out! This is my second time in Finland, and on both occasions, the goal was to shoot guns. I'm literally coming to Europe to shoot guns. Turns out there are Europeans that not only love guns, but love to train with them as well. Smashing. The event I'm attending is called Finnish Brutality. I have a video on last year's experience in case you want to go watch it. The event is hosted by Veris Tuleka, and it's a shooting competition that adds in a grueling physical aspect. Who's hungry? Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ha, 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 ha. I have a question. What do you think of Americans? Nice people. Nani? <laughs> Here's another question for you. A little bit out of left field. What do you think about guns? Guns. I don't have guns. Yeah. Uh, I don't like guns. Why not? They are um, supposed to kill people with guns. Acha! You're a dead man! Yeah, yeah. That is your problem. Uh, Done. But I thought I was gonna be a high-speed goon operator. Dig the f***ing trench. <laughs> That's it, gentlemen. Put your backs into it. Make haste. Make haste. Forgotten weapons. Oh, ah, fantastic work, gentlemen. Dig the fighting position. Dig the fighting position. I can finally use the hose for my real reason. Gentlemen, today on Administrative Results, we are going over the Swedish military rifle known as the AK-5. Move! Move in! Pew, 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 pew. Pew. Uh, um, I'm not telling you how to get an AK-5, but you should stay to the end because I'll tell you how to get an AK-5. Okay, so as I was saying, this AK-5 is cool, but it's not mine. It belongs to my dear friend, Otter Weapons. Work. All right, Joel, get over here. Joel, thanks for coming back on the channel. Absolutely. Man. Good thanks. to have you back. You have a very impressive, fun clone collection. We call you the General of the Clone Wars. General Kenobi. Go! 
Cool Jack, Cool Jack. Now, earlier in the video, I hinted about acquiring your own Swedish AK-5. And well, to be honest, it's gonna take a little bit of crime. There's like 50 guys over there. They're all rushing Alpha. <sighs> Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, the Administrative Results Channel, a channel that lacks any sort of government oversight and I can do whatever I want because I am a free citizen. Today we're going over military ammo versus body armor. Now to help me out with this video, I have our unpaid intern Jordan, who is gonna be the host of the body armor that we're gonna be shooting. What? So right now we have some level four threats in here, rated for level four, and we're gonna take a few pot shots at Jordan from a distance. Uh, you okay with that? I don't have health insurance. Neither do I. All right, so we're gonna move. Jordan, come on. Come on, stop playing around, dude, stop moving. No, no, screw you, man, I gotta get paid. Come on. All right. You know, you're thinking like this is a joke, like he works me for some capacity. No, he legit is an unpaid intern. We're making moves at the Administrative Results Channel. IRS, don't, don't investigate this. We have one pumpkin left. I wanna see what happens when a pumpkin shot by my defensive load, my G9 ammo, just for the fun of it. As a snack, this isn't what the video is about, but well, we all know that keeping things on track here is borderline impossible. G9 external copper hollow point for nine mil ammo. This stuff is cooking. Woo! Gow, oh, dang. Chill, we'll go back to the channel. Today we're going over the M60. Matt, man, where, where you been? Dude, I've been looking for you. Hey, no, I've been around. Do you want to help me film the M60 video? Oh, I wish I could. I just got a lot. I love a lot of stuff. No, it's cool, man. Just, uh, thanks for letting me use the range, I guess. I'll see you around, sure. okay? All right, man. Later. Yeah. What is he got? See much combat? Seen some on TV. You can talk the talk. Can you walk the walk? You can eat the peanuts out of my PBs and shit. <laughs> Charlie, 
Oh, fuck. That's not good. No, it's not great. So you want me to play Charlie? Yeah, can you? Who's Charlie? You know, the guy from the in Vietnam. That one guy, Charlie. Yeah, I guess, man. Cool. You're gonna love it. Gentlemen, today on Ministry of Results, we're doing a flamethrower versus a human torso. Before we get there, we have some side quests to do. Now, he's not looking so hot, but he's about to look much hotter, if you know what I mean. All right, next we're gonna do G9 versus chocolate. Hey, George, stop drinking the chocolate milk, dude. Can I have health insurance yet? No, stop, put it back. Stop watching Sam Sulek. I'm not an animal, I'm not gonna chug it, but I'll, I'll sip on it. All right, like I was saying, we're doing the G9 versus chalky milk. Can we get much higher? <laughs> Oh, that's satisfying. My name's Admin. Welcome to Jackass. That scene from the Glorious Bastards. I do. What are we filming today? Oh, dude, we're filming this Rhodesian A5 shotgun. Rhodesian? I thought we say Zimbabwe now. Do we? Like a brute. Today we are going over the Rhodesian Auto A5, a Browning designed. This thing is a legendary shotgun. It is a treat to go over, and I'm very excited. What are you doing down there? Get back to work. You still have like uncontacted European tribes. Huh? I'm just kidding, I don't know about that. That was a guy that wasn't liking subscribing. He was sitting on the toilet eating his coffee, chewing his beer, whatever you were doing. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm, God. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I wish I was a blue job up in the sky. Wouldn't have to march if I could fly. And I'll be a brown job until I die. For 10 years to go in the RLI. So this Rody A5 shotgun is very cool, but it's not mine. It belongs to a friend of the channel, my friend Joel, otherwise known as Otter Weapons Works. Joel, get over here. Joel, thanks for coming back to the channel yet again, man. Yeah, We've man. had you on for a bit. You got some cool guns. We're getting nice and sweaty out here. Hope you enjoy Arizona. You loaned me this Rhodesian A5 to go over. It is very cool. I like it a lot. And of course, the Blood Diamond lore. And now we have a piece of that history on the channel. Now, this gun was used to fight commies. Now, I don't have any commies out here to fight. The next best thing is I have some trash to shoot. All right, go ahead, Joel. Pull. Got him. <laughs> You know, if I was going into battle when there were still pokies, I would wear a plate carrier like this. From this day to the ending of the world, but we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. But he near so vile this day shall gentle his condition, and gentlemen to England now abed shall think themselves accursed if they were not here, and hold their manhoods cheap, while any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's day. Loose!
Right then. Bad day to be a Frenchman. They took the little ones. Be still. Be still. Frodo. Where's Frodo? I let him go. Then you did what I could not. I tried to take the ring from him. The ring is beyond our reach now. I failed you all. No. You fought bravely. <laughs> oh! Uh, Good lord. Right through the jaw. Do you think he'd still be alive? For a little bit. For a little bit. Yeah, you would be alive enough to know it sucks. Guys? God? <laughs> I can't do it, sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. Now I want to try. Pop quiz. What did Cain use to kill Abel? A big old rock. <laughs> Gentlemen, today we're going over the Saber 10, AKA the M110 we have at home. <laughs> What are you doing? Doing the shooting montage, what are you talking about? It's a DMR, you're not supposed to shoot it that fast. Oh? Should we slow it down a little bit? <laughs> oh, there she is. Hey, we're gonna go up a few clicks. Eldridge, hey buddy, we need some more ammo. Got one. Wait, who has their white light on? Hey, why is your freaking white light on? There's a whole company of blue helmets hunting us right now. Where's your thermals? Where's your knots? I can't afford them. Oh, crap. Hey, what's that over there? Sorry, buddy. I'm a sniper. And then, wait a second. What is he drawing? AAC 124 grain. Gentlemen, today we're going over the 1860 Henry Repeating Arms lever gun. I'm a man of the law, sworn to dispense the justice of the land upon he who walks in the way of the devil. God may forgive those who sin against him, but my lever gun don't. I'll put that ragged outlaw down like the damn dog that he is. Woe to the vanquished. Woe to the balaclava boy. Good old talking balaclava boy. Been trying to catch you for some time now, Sonny. The law's caught up to you. Law dog Aaron. <laughs> plan on taking me in? I plan to take you in. Dead or alive's up to you. Reckon this, law dog. What if I don't want to go with you? Well, I reckon that's our problem then. <laughs> Hell of a shot, law dog. I ain't dying. No coward. Sick. Tastes like corn syrup. Uh, General Travis Haley here with the uh, Union Army. Hey, why do we fight Confederates? Because we can, okay? And how do our biomechanics as Yankee soldiers translate into a lever gun? Or that round go.
today we are going over the top five coolest guns of Brandon Herrera. Bonjour. Brandon, Ooh. thanks for coming back onto the channel, even though we already filmed another video just like right now, literally right now. <laughs> you probably have one of my most favorite collections of all the buds. Aw. It's, you got a really good taste. If Brandon's collection was, um, Esoteric and autistic? Yeah. It's my autism. I get to choose a special interest. And he chose power weapon. Bonjour. 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 <laughs> crazy. I was crazy once. They put me in, they a, put room. Me in a room. A rubber, rubber room. room. A rubber room with rats. rats. Rats make me crazy. Uh, today we're going over Brandon's top five in case you didn't hear it off camera. So, uh. Pizza time, everybody. <laughs> This thing could take the hat off and it'll lead at 2,000 yards. Stop resisting! Admin, you can't think it's a good idea to dress up as a German soldier from World War II. Hear me out on this one. All right, buddy, I just built an outpost, okay? We're gonna be pushing this objective. Now, Commander wants me to build a garrison, so I need you to take the squad. We're gonna go on a flanking mission. Don't mess this up. It's all riding on you, and if you lose, the entire chat's gonna make fun of you. Okay, good luck. <laughs> If you shoot an MP40 in the woods, does it make a noise? All right, let's close out. Let's get out of here. Bye, everybody. Always a plane.